Welcome to the retired trucker. Got a story. This is kind of being big news over here around the Little Rock area in Arkansas in general. You know, Tyson is based out of Arkansas. They have plants all over the place around here. But due to poor sales, I guess, uh, Tyson is closing four plants down. Got the story here from Transport Topics. Let's see what they're talking about here. Tyson Foods to close four chicken processing plants. Cost cutting more to affect three states in 2024. Tyson Foods is closing four chicken processing plants as it looks to lower costs. The company said August 7th that the plants being closed are located in North Little Rock, Arkansas, Corden, Indiana, Dexter, Missouri, and Knoll, Missouri. Tyson said that it will shift production to other facilities and hot operations at the four plants in the first two quarters of fiscal 2024. The company currently estimates having 300 million to 400 million in total charges based on a preliminary analysis. Tyson launched a plan in fiscal 2022 where it targeted 1 billion in, in productivity savings by the end of fiscal 2024. The company said that it realized more than 700 million of savings in fiscal 2022, which partially offset the impacts of inflationary dang all these big words market con conditions <laughs> tyson topped this one billion target in the second quarter of fiscal 2023 more than a year ahead of its plan in may tyson posted a surprise loss in the second quarter and cut its sales forecast due to the cost of plant closures and layoffs tyson has been trying to cut costs over the past several months. It closed its corporate offices in Chicago and South Dakota late last year and consolidated its workforce in Arkansas. In March, it announced the closure of two plants in Arkansas and Virginia in order to better use available capacity at other facilities. Tyson laid off 50% of its senior leadership and 10% of its corporate workers in April as it faces steep inflation on labor, grain, and other inputs. The company also reported its fiscal third quarter financial results on August 7th. Tyson posted a loss of $417 million, or $1.18 per share, for the period ending July 1st. A year earlier, it earned $750 million, or $2.07 per share. The current quarter included a goodwill impairment charge of $448 million. Removing asset impairment charges and restructuring costs, the Springdale, Arkansas-based company earned $0.15 cents per share. That's well below the $0.34 cents per share analysis polled by Zach's investment research expected. Revenue totaled $13.14 billion, down from $13.5 billion a year ago. Tyson still anticipates fiscal 2023 revenue in a range of $53 billion to $54 billion. Analysis surveyed by FactSet expect revenue of $53.74 billion. Shares dropped 8% before the market opened. Wow. Tyson Foods ranks number nine on the Transport Topics Top 100 list of the largest private carriers in North America. And number one on the top agricultural and food processing carrier list. Wow, that's crazy. Is that going to impact any trucking jobs, you think? I remember back during the vaccine deal, they were forcing people to get the vaccine or they would be fired. Now, I think they kind of went back on that slow down on that but i think that had hurt him a little bit put him a little bit of a bad eye in the public so maybe that's reason for their sales going down who knows 
I'm just guessing here, so that's probably not it, but you never know. So let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about this situation. Do you, anybody here drive for Tyson? Want to put in a two cents worth? All right. So that's it. I appreciate everybody watching. Hey, everybody, have a good day and stay safe.